Phishing is a type of social engineering attack most commonly used to steal user data. In more practical terms, it's the practice of sending fraudulent emails or texts purporting to be from a reputable source. The purpose of these emails or texts is to entice individuals to disclose passwords, credit card numbers, or other personal information. These attacks can also be used to plant malicious software or malware on your computer which can propagate to other computers and networks without your knowledge. A hacker or group of hackers will generally author an email to appear legitimate and often appear as if it's coming from an authority figure in your organization. This email will generally ask for information or encourage you to follow a link. Clicking on the link or responding to the email then spells disaster. This is by far the most prevalent threat we face at Western. That being said, let's take a look at an example we've seen here on campus and break down some of the key points. Phishing emails can be elaborate with lots of time and effort put into mimicking actual emails you may be used to seeing, much like this one. Here we have an email from Bill Jordanson. At first glance, the email appears to be legitimate. So what are some of the tip-offs that this might be a phishing email? In looking at the body of the email, we can find several grammatical errors. Looking at the signature, the phone number listed is not a Gunnison area code. A quick Google search tells us this is a Seattle, Washington number. Further, there is in fact no Office of Sandwich Research housed here at Western. The biggest red flag in this email is the sender's information. Although it's purported to be sent from personnel here at Western, we can see that the from email address is not part of the Western domain. All email addresses attached to Western will show western.edu in the address. Although I've exaggerated the nonsense of this email to make the problems with it more apparent, we can deduce the authenticity of most emails in the same manner. 1. Is the email coming from a sender you recognize? Remember, all Western emails will end with the domain western.edu. 2. Are there egregious grammatical errors? 3. Is the information in the signature recognizable? If you have any questions about the legitimacy of an email, feel free to contact IT services and do not download any attachment from or click any links contained within the email. This next example is an email that was actually sent to several departments in August of this year. It proves that a phishing email doesn't have to be overly complicated or clever in order to get the job done. We have a short message saying, your subscription has been renewed, along with what appears to be a PDF of rewards for said account. This email is obviously coming from an outside entity, so we don't see the Western domain in the email address. However, most organizations don't usually use generic Gmail accounts to do business. There is also no information on what business the account originates from other than the account number, which is a huge red flag. The email has no branding that would tell us what company this account is with, and the attachment seemingly contains rewards not mentioned in the body of the email. From all these red flags, we can deduce that this email is not legitimate, and the attachment could contain malware such as a Trojan virus. Do not open it. This email should be deleted immediately. Other common phishing attacks we seem to see every semester are calls for babysitters or dog walkers, usually offering payment that is too good to be true. These emails often ask the recipient to respond with a non-work email, thus giving the attacker further access to your personal address books. Bottom line, if an offer seems too good to be true, or its requests give you pause like asking you to respond from a different email account, it's safe to assume it's a phishing email and should be deleted. In the event you do reply to an email, click on a link, or open an attachment that you think might be a scam, you should contact IT services immediately.